Kanga village. There lived this great chief, Shimawendo. He had seven wives. Uh -huh. Remember that all? Yeah. And he called his wives, he called his counselors, the entire village. Now, all of them were expected. And he said, you know what? When a man, a father has daughters, he is rather wealthy because the father's family comes to pay the bright price. But the other way around, if I have sons, I will be bankrupt. Oh. So I'm warning all my wives here, you see, make sure you give me only daughters. I don't want to see one son. If you give me a son, I will kill that son. Hey! hey. Next three. The elders said, shut up. They, they feared this great chief in the window. They were going to argue with it. Well, when the birthday came, the earth day came, six wives gave birth to six beautiful daughters. But his favorite wife, imagine, that's even worse. His favorite wife was very a daughter. And inside her stomach was Muwendo. You know this story. <laughs> Muwendo decided, like all the six wives, their daughters came the same time, the same day. And she was very happy. <laughs> I'm going to 
Bury him. Elders, please come, come, come quickly. Dig, 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 dig in the mud. I'm going to bury my son now, and that will be that. What could the elders say? They respected Chief so much. So they went and they got some spade and some fork. They dug, they dug, they dug, they dug. They dug. The baby inside, they buried the baby's son. And then they went. <laughs> That's the end of my son. No more expenses. But you know what? When Chief went to the house and everybody was relaxing, this baby started singing. <laughs> serving girls just doing some washing in the river when they saw this drum and from inside the drum they heard a baby singing became a boy, the boy became a man. 
And the day came where Nguendo said, I am going to go and fight my father. You have cared for me, and I am caring for you in my village, but I'm going to avenge my father because he wanted me dead when I was a baby. You can't go alone, my son. Let me come with you, and let us go to your uncle so that he will forge some weapons and we will have a strong army to beat your father and his army. And they went off. They went to his uncle's village and they took some weapons and swords and they fought them and made them very powerful and fortified. And then they went on their way. When they got somewhere, eh, there's no food, though. What are we going to do? We need strength. We need food. And when they said, you have fed me, you have cared for me. So he shook his twice off his chest. There was the food. Eat. Fortify yourselves. Be fed and water. And we'll finish the journey. Eventually. They came to the final village of Shimawendo. His people were there. The chiefs were there. The warriors were there waiting. Anyway, as they fought to begin with, unfortunately, the uncle and all the people on the auntie's side all perished. Shimawendo said, yeah, 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 yeah. My uncle tried to defend me. And his people, they have all perished. But I am not going to give up. He put his spice water up there. The lightning came with even more power. I am going to defeat my father. I am sure.